Jessica, the Sweetwater Stitcher, and I am happy to be back. Today is March 23rd, and I hope you guys had a great couple of weeks. I was able to spend last week with my kids over their spring break. Um, overall, it was a good week. We did have a few sick people, myself included, <laughs> um, with just a 24-hour bug, but we um, were able to go over to the beach to my parents' condo and my son spent the night with them for the first time. So it was a big deal, um, but it was fun. And I was very glad when they went back to school on Monday. Um, I did not realize what a difference even from the summer till now makes is that all three of them are all over the place all the time. So I was very tired <laughs> and I tried to get some stitching in for, like I've said before, my relaxation time, but uh, some of the nights I was just exhausted. And then I also, like I had said, had gotten the stomach bug. So um, two nights in a row, I was just too tired to do anything and I went to bed early, which is very unlike me. So. Thankfully, I am feeling better now and um, I think everyone's back to normal and school's back. So just getting back into the routine and I still have just feel tired from chasing the kids around. But um, like everyone says, it's only for a season and I don't want to miss out on anything with the kids even if I'm tired, <laughs> so. Um, but I'm really excited to be back and um, be able to film another video today. I have, like always, a lot of stuff to show and I hope that you enjoy what I have today. So I have um, a couple exchange pieces that I received. I have some previous finishes, a framed finish, for now, um, I'm still deciding if I like the frame or if I want to do something different, but I'll show that to you in a minute. Um, I have a finish, my whips, plans. Um, I have kind of an outline of a plan for April. And then I have haul from market and I have a lot of stuff. I will see how long the rest of the video is and we might break the haul um, up into two videos. Um, because I have a lot of <laughs> stuff from market. Um, but let me go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to show today is an exchange that I was in with five other friends. So there were six of us total. And what we did is we all, um, were, went, our names were put in and it was organized by Holly, Mrs. Jones Stitches, on floss tube and Instagram. So we put our names into a website that did a random draw and it emailed us all who we had for the exchange. And our exchange was a small from Primrose Cottage because the six of us all um, met and we knew each other, but we had never met in person, most of us, um, at the Primrose Cottage Retreat in January. And we all love Primrose, and so we felt like that would be a fun theme to have for our first exchange. And hopefully we're going to do some more exchanges. So that was the only parameter, is that it needed to be a small. Um, I will insert a picture here of the small that I sent to my partner, who was Alicia, the fanciful flamingo. Um, so I stitched her a portion of uh, Hive Rules, the part that says, always be humble and kind. And then I sent a few extra goodies with the package and you can see those in the picture I um, have right here. And then the person who had me was Holly, who is Mrs. Jones Stitches. And what she stitched for me was this, which is one of the new Primrose patterns, Fresh Lemonade. And 
it's stuffed with walnut shells, so it's nice and heavy and squishy. I love it so much. Um, but I'm trying to get it because I have something else in my hand to show you. So this was the stitched piece. It's so cute. Um, and then she also sent with it, and let me show you the whole thing, most all of the pieces that I've added to a tear tray and I have this tear tray in my kitchen. So she sent also the towels and the lemons and the little sign. And then I just picked up this um, uh, little garland with the lemon and this other sign. And I already had this tear tray. It's from Hobby Lobby. And this sits on my counter, oops, underneath of my cabinets and I get to look at it every day and I'm so excited and I love this so much. Um, so the other people who were also in our exchange were Jody, who is simply stitching Ocala, Felicia, who is FA Quilts on um, Instagram, and also Hannah, who is the Stitch Fairy on Instagram and on floss tube. So um, I'll put all of them below, but what we are also planning on doing is that we will all post pictures of our finishes and then we're going to link each other on Instagram so you can go check out all of the finishes. Uh, but I will put all of them below. So that was so much fun and we're already planning another one um, in a couple months and we're trying to narrow down what our theme is gonna be. But that's been really fun to work on. So that was one of the things that I had finished stitching um, and fully finished, but I had to mail it off. Another exchange I was in, and this was from the fall, and um, it's a long story, no problems. <laughs> um, but I was in a next, I'm in Michelle, um, Farm Girl Dry Goods in her Patreon. And so I had got, I was in an exchange and I hadn't got the package yet, but I got it and I love it so much. And I just wanna share the finish because I am so excited to, to put this out. Um, Michelle stitched for me this Brenda Gervais pattern. And I cannot think of what it is called off the top of my head but it's finished into a drum with this on the bottom with the little cake stand. Happy birthday, America, maybe. I can't remember. I have the pattern and it was actually on my list, but I love it so much. And then she sent a box with all kinds of fun stuff in it, some patterns, some of which I will share with you because I have some of them already. Um, some trim from Market a little, um, one of these bags that had some awesome other trim in, um, ribbons, but thank you so much, Michelle. I am like, I don't even have words to say how excited I am for putting that out. <laughs> um, so, oh, also in Holly, she sent me, a, um, a, a ribbon bundle too, that went with my lemons. So it was funny because on the same exact day, I got both of those packages and it was so fun to open and get them. So, um, again, that one was through, um, Farm Girl Dry Goods Patreon. And on that note, I will link her Patreon below. I am in that one as well. And she has some great, um, just great tips. She puts out videos in Patreon showing um, how to make things. She has special exclusives just for Patreon. Um, she posts like when her retreat is early, like she does to previous attendees and then Patreon members, and then she puts it out to everybody else. She lets you know on there first before she puts out some of her kits, which I'll show you some I got with market ex uh, market patterns. Um, so just overall, it's a really good Patreon to be a part of if you're interested. Um, so I'll put the link to that below. Okay. Then for previous finishes, brought up this whole little bowl. This is what it looks like all together. This is on my coffee table in my family room. 
and I'll show you up close. This is Spring Whirly Gig by Heart and Hand. And I have it finished in a circle and then it's on a cutting board paddle. And I think this is from Hobby Lobby. I don't know. Um, I did this a couple years ago. And the colors I think are the colors that Priscilla had used. But again, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but here it is up close. They're all classic color works, uh, colors. So I love that. And then my other one is, this is from Seasons of the Heart from Brenda Gervais. This is the spring pillow. So I have the spring pillow done and I also have the winter pillow. So I still need to do the summer and the fall. And those are on my list uh, for this year to, I think I started the summer one last year, uh, but I didn't get very far. So I need to pick that up and get that finished for summer. And then I also wanna do the fall one and then I will have done all of them. And I used the, all the called for colors. And then I made the little tag and sewed it on there. And this is the back of it. And I still need to put a little, a little something there, but I love this so much. So that sits in my bowl. Okay, let me put this out of the way. The next thing I have to show you is I was able to find at Hobby Lobby some standard 11 by 14 frames to um, which I figured out would fit this is the day. So what I did is I tried them all out and asked a few people for their opinion. And this is the one that um, we all kind of decided that we liked. There, one thing I'm unsure about, so I don't have it like the back of it sealed because I still might change my mind, is there is a white piece that goes around the edges and it's close to the top and the bottom, but not as close on the sides. So I'm not sure how I feel about it, but what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting it on my, it's sitting on my fireplace and I'm just letting it marinate for a little bit and see if I like how it is um, or if I want to change the frame. Um, and if I change the frame, I'll probably would take it to a custom framer to get something cut where it's like a little bit, this just needs to have a little more room and this needs a little more room. I feel like, but I wanted to get it up, so I I got it this far. So tell me what you think. Do you think it looks good, or should I consider getting it custom framed, or getting a frame cut that fits it a little bit better? So, but I love the, I love the frame. That's the part that I can't get away from, is that the idea of the black and the white, I just, I love it. So that's why I'm just setting it at my mantle and we're just seeing what I think about it. So, but I wanted to get this instead of just sitting in my craft room, I wanted to get it downstairs so I could look at it because I spent all that time doing it. Um, so I was excited to get that done. Okay. Next is my other finish. And I know a lot of people were asking for the colors on this and I am listing them below. So if you're interested, check the show notes below and I will have the colors. This is Sweet Summer Come Again by Blackbird Designs. And this was part, or I had already started this last year. And then I put this in as part of my March Madness, which I ended up after the last video, everything kind of like went crazy and I just decided to abandon it. So I have all the projects written down still and I have them in a place, but I just, it was becoming too overwhelming and my kids were all home at that point to keep up with stitching one day, stitching another day, putting the voting and all that. So I just said, I'm just, I can't do this anymore for right now. So I have, like I said, the projects and I'll get back to them, but I was able to finish this. So I was happy with that. 
And like I had said before, I was not planning to have, I thought this would get done, but I wasn't like thinking everything else was going to get finished. So I wasn't that, it was fine. So this is my finish. This is on um, 28 count white Monaco. Here, let me put it in the middle. And I chose my own colors. And like I said, I will put them below. I am unsure as to how I want to finish this. Um, I'm thinking about uh, doing a paper mache box or a wooden box that's a circle and mounting this to the top of the box. Um, I don't know. I can't decide. And I also think I might do a little bit of antiquing to the white um, but that again, I don't know. So I have to still play around with it, which is why it's not fully finished yet, but I love this. Um, it's so cute, but I want to get it somewhat finished in the next couple weeks so that, um, I can go ahead and put it out and then it can stay out through the summer because it's summery. So that is my fully finished. And like I said, I'll put the, um, the colors in the box below. One other thing, somebody was asking, um, they said that they have all their floss organized and they are feel good in that department, but their fabric is a mess. And they asked if I had any fabric organizing tips. And I was honest and I said no, because mine is also a mess. So I think that I do have an idea. I have some drawers that my uh, silhouette is sitting on, which I really haven't been using. And so I'm thinking about putting the silhouette in um, the, bag, the carrying bag I have and putting it to the side and taking the vinyl out of the drawers I have um, and putting them into some other drawers and then using the ones that my vinyl was in um, to organize the fabric. So if I get that done before my next video, I will either uh, film a short video or I'll take some pictures, but I'll be sure to report back. But I, once I kind of figured that out, um, I, I will do that soon because I want to be able to find my own fabric. Um, I have it all in uh, like a three plastic clear drawers, but it's like everything is thrown in there. I don't know what is where, and I go to find something, I can't find it. So I want to get mine organized as well. So I'll report back on that um, either the next video or the video after that. All right, let's talk about some whips. So these are in no particular order and I may or may not have worked on other things. I don't know. I just pulled out the things that were in my basket that I know I've worked on in the past week at least. Um, so this was one I worked on. This is Home by Bent Creek. And they have a lot of these um, that have uh, some type of a, a picture and then they have the alphabet with um, a word spelled out. So I am using, I think I just picked my own colors on this. Um, this is, I'm trying to match to the, um, to the picture. So this is on 36 count linen, color linen by Weeks Dye Works. And there's where I got. So I tried to get the house so I could get down to the letters. And this is the start of the E. But I thought this was a cute little sampler to just keep out all the time or kind of have as a, um, a filler if I need something um, to put out. So I am trying to, I do have some seasonal things I'm still doing, but I'm trying to go more towards every day so that I don't have to feel, or I don't, I don't feel like I have to switch out my decorations each time there's a new season or each time there's a new holiday. Um, so I, I do have a lot and I want to keep those and I want to show them, but I just have been with my kid. It, it all, it's, 
it all kind of goes back to my kids at this point is that I will not stop cross stitching and I won't stop crafting, but it's just how I'm doing it. It's evolving and changing. And those who have kids or know people who have kids, I'm sure can relate and understand. Um, but it's just kind of where I'm at in this season of life. So I pulled this out. I saw Chelsea who is stitching Wren on Instagram. She also is um, one of Annie's daughters from Annie B's Folk Art and she's they have a floss tube. And she just finished, she finished it a little bit ago, but they just framed it. And I was looking through all my projects and I was like, let me get that out. So this I changed to using this, they're very, the house is actually the same color she used. The flowers are similar. And this is, I'm pretty sure this is 28 count. Um, of course, I didn't write it down. It was a color, it is a color and cotton fabric that was like a, um, it was either a mist dye or a grab bag or something, but it didn't, it wasn't like a, um, I feel like it was a mist dye and it was like an extra. So this is where I am and I'm changing them, like I said, to how Chelsea had with the yellow house and the flowers. And um, so a little backstory on this is that she was doing it in remembrance of her dad, but I, um, I love blue also. And my house that I live in right now is coincidentally yellow. So I thought, well, this is perfect. So I wanted to do the yellow for the house that we live in. And we, unless we build a house years down the road, there's no reason we need to move. Um, our house is plenty big for us to even grow. I mean, we're not having any more kids, but, um, we have plenty of room here. So I was like, okay, well, this will represent our yellow house. And then it was funny because there's three eagles in the picture. And I was talking with Chantel and she said, well, that's like your three kids. So the three eagles for our three kids. And then um, I just, we will always remember. And I just feel like it's a very sentimental. So um, with the suggestion from Chantel, she said, you should write all that stuff down and then put it on the back of your finished piece. So that kind of also gave me motivation to work on it. Um, I didn't, I did a little bit on the house and a little on the flowers. Um, but I want to get this back out, but I think I'm going to put it away for a little bit. However, one thing about this being on 28 count and I've been stitching on 36 it was really easy and I was stitching in hand. I didn't have to use the hoop. So I might kind of keep this as a, if my eyes are tired and I want just something easy to work on, this is, um, this is it. So again, this is Always Remember by Plum Street Samplers. And I wanna get this for sure done. Um, in the near future. And if you are interested in the colors that I'm using, um, I will put them below um, for this piece. All right, the next one, I don't have very much done on this. However, this is for the rest of the month, this is one of the things that I'm either gonna try to get done or try to get a lot of progress on. I think I can get it done. This is The Rabbit and the Rose by Brenda Gervais. And myself and Nicole Spore are hosting a sal for this. Um, and it's hashtag rabbit and rose sal. And this is where I am. So I don't remember if I had the basket outlined, but I outlined the basket and I came over and I did this flower. So it's not even that I have a lot more to do. It's just, oops, sitting down and focusing on it. So you'll hear in my plans, one of my plans is to try to get this finished. Um, so, and it was funny because I was listening to um, and watching uh, Sarah and Jen, who are stitchy friends on floss tube today and their video in their video they had a section called uh cross stitch confessions and one of their confessions 
was that they join a lot of sales. And then Sarah was saying, which is exactly how I've been feeling lately, is that they feel guilty because they're not working on the sales. And I keep having that feeling for um, Block Party Mend, which I keep wanting to pick up and then something else gets my catches my eye or rabbit in the rose. Um, I want to get them done, but then I get distracted. So I, um, that is one of my goals is to work on rabbit in the rose. Um, and then I, I don't remember if I put mend in for my April plans, but if I didn't, I am going to try to work on it, get some progress in the rest of this month, and then I'll pick it back up in May. Uh, but I want to get that done because I really want to try to make that mattress finish. But um, as everybody, I feel like a lot of people have the same feelings. There's so many beautiful charts and there's so much stuff to stitch. It's so hard to pick one thing. Oh, and that's how I ended up picking up um, Always Remember is I was like, I have all these new releases. I have all these whips. I can't even decide on what to stitch. And I just thought, I'm picking this up. I know where I am. It's easy stitching and it will make me happy. And really that's the whole moral is you have to stitch what you what is enjoyable because it's a hobby and it's not supposed to be work. Um, so that's all I have to say about that. Um, all right, so this is this is part of a sow, but it's like a whatever you want to stitch around it. Um, and it goes along with Rachel from um, Needle and F Needle and Flax, her first ladies series that she's doing on floss tube, which she just released um, a couple days ago, her episode on Abigail Adams. And so I was going to start this no matter which first lady she was talking about, but it happened to be, I had all the materials to start it and she was talking about Abigail. So it is Salute to Abigail by Blackbird Designs. And this is the book that it's in. And I know I've said, and other people have said, if you don't have this book, I would highly suggest getting it. It has every single project in this book I want to do. <laughs> I'm already, I have this as a whip. And then I want to do everything else. So this is what I started yesterday while I was watching her episode. And um, Jennifer, who is calculated stitcher on floss tube and Instagram, she is who I got the um, silk floss conversion from. And she also asked Rachel about starting a hashtag. And the hashtag is um, first ladies Sal. Uh, and so really Rachel was talking on her video that, I mean, it could be anything patriotic pretty much. So I went ahead and used that for my hashtag. I don't have a lot done, but I was able to get started and I'm using 36 count vintage fawn by Lakeside. And the colors are amazing. So, um, these are the colors. I need to put one of them on. So it's covering the stitching, but you can get the idea. Um, they're awesome. So I'll go ahead and just tell you what they are. The NPI is 882 NPI. The dark blue is these are, all three of these are dinky dyes. Down under blues. The red is shades of wine. And the light blue is out of the blue. And I ordered mine from Hobby House Needleworks and it came really quickly. Uh, so if you are looking for those, I know they have them. I, excuse me, I do not know who else sells dinky dyes. I'm sure there's other people, but that was just, I knew um, that they did. And I, I like to order from Hobby House. So I'll put a link to them below, uh, with the dinky dyes, but that's the colors and that's, 
uh, what I'm using. And if you do use them, uh, make sure to tag uh, Calculated Stitcher Jennifer when you're using them because I know she'd like to see um, people using those colors too. But they're the I've only used the dark blue so far and it looks really good. So I'm excited. Okay, and then, oh, this is a tiny start. This was a market release, so this was part of my haul, uh, but I saw Laura from Brenda and the Serial Starter. She started and finished this, and I, I love this anyways, but my kids call each other Cuckoo Bird, so I thought this was cute to do. Um, I am using 36 count... White Clay by Fox and Rabbit, and I'm using Deep Sea by Weeks Dye Works. So I just have a little start, but this was an easy, I was sitting in the car line and I wanted just something easy to do. So I got a few stitches in, not very far, but it's better than nothing. So, and I love that. Okay, and my last whip is this was, um, or this is a sow that I am hosting with um, Cross Stitch Kate and um, New Hampshire Stitcher. So Caitlin and Lauren, and we are stitching, uh, the hashtag is hashtag salt box, salt box solstice sow. And we are starting with the spring salt boxes from uh, Plum Street Samplers. And I am stitching it as one piece. I'm pretty sure Lauren is. Actually, I know Lauren is. And I don't know what Caitlin's doing, um, if hers is one or not. So I went ahead and started with this one right here. And I have posted my picture and a bunch of people were asking, are, what colors are you using? And I'm using all of the called for colors. And the colors that I posted in my picture, they were the colors for both of the houses for spring. So, and this is kind of centered. Um, but I am using Cappuccino by um, Fiber on a Whim, 36 count. And this is where I am. I was able to get the border and some of the flower over here. And what I'm doing is I am using a three, three stitch border will go all the way around the whole thing. And then I'll have another set with the three stitch border. And then I uh, so generously got from Peter, who is O oh for Pete's sake on Instagram, he sent me his alphabet that he put in the middle between, he didn't do them in the same order, but I'm putting it between summer and fall. So I'm gonna put his alphabet here, and then I'm gonna put the other four down at the bottom. Um, so that's my start. And this is on my agenda to try to get at least that first house done. Um, before the end of the month. So I'm only taking to where I stitch the things I'm planning to try to get done before the end of the month. And hopefully I can get some progress on some of these things. So that is all of my whips. And then my plans, like I said, is to try to get as far on the rabbit and the rose. If I can get it done, I'll be excited. And this is like in, from now until the end of the month. Um, the salt, salt box solstice. So I want to try to at least make, at least get a lot of stuff in place for that first house, even if it's some outlining. Um, the cuckoo bird. Then I have, and what did I, here it is. Hold on a second. Um, I did not work on this anymore, but I want to show this again. Um, I am working on the Hive Rules um, Sal, and there's a Facebook group, like I've said, by Primrose Cottage. And so I didn't get any more done, but I want to try to get the rest of the first section, which is the Hive Rules, by the end of the month. But if I don't, it's not a big deal because I can just catch up next month. 
Um, but it's it doesn't take a long time. I just, again, have to sit down and focus. So, and I um, replied to a few people and I will link this below, but my stretcher bars were painted and made by Primrose Scroll Works. And they have, um, her name is Tracy and her husband also um, work together. And they have an Instagram page and I'll link that below. And that's who you can contact if you're interested. Um, but I really like this and I'm excited to keep it on this and continue working. So I wanna try to get um, to that. And then I'm also, which, where did I put that? Um, here it is. Hold a second. <laughs> oh, this was part of the problem. Oh, I have one more whip too. Oh my goodness. This was, <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, okay, so let me show you this and then I'll go back and show the other whip. So this is part of Teresa Kogut's Patreon for tier four. She's doing a mystery stitch along and she released the first part, which I have yet to start, but um, this is the first part. So again, if I feel like it, this is also something to, to try to pick up and work on. And I'm using the called for colors on the called for fabric. So I have that all in my bag, ready to pick up if I feel like picking it up. And then, okay, this was one of my other whips. How could I forget? This was a new, this was a market release and a new start. And I was so excited to work on this the other day. Let me take it out. This is Channing Street by Annie B's Folk Art. So I was able to start it and I'm using 36 count boardwalk by Color and Cotton. And this is where I am. So I was able to get the border. I gotta finish the border here and then start the alphabet. But one thing I wanted to mention about this is when I opened up the pattern, the pattern is so beautifully um, I'll just flash a little bit of it. It's so nice and it's really big. So it's really easy to see. But then when I started putting the pages together, the pages were having a hard time meeting up. So I um, have been in contact with Annie uh, through with Chantel. And um, we found out that how her program broke the pages up they're not all matching. So what she is going to do is she is gonna provide a one page um, printout of the whole chart together to all of the LNSs that, um, or to any LNS who requests it, I believe, um, that purchased these for you if you purchased this and want to stitch it and you're having a hard time figuring out where the placement is. Um, there's nothing wrong with the chart. The chart is all right. It's just how the program broke it up. It's not the page, like where the pages should overlap. They're not overlapping correctly. So I was started stitching it and then figured it out and let her know um, because this is an awesome chart and I am so excited to work on it, but I was like, this doesn't seem right, the number of stitches. So she has was wonderful, got um, a single page copy, so I was able to get back working on it. Um, but just to let you know, if you got this and you um, want the full page, which you will want it, contact your LNS, don't contact Annie, contact your LNS to get the full page printout. Um, and she will provide the printout to the LNSs. So, um, and if you have any problems, message me and I can help direct you or whatever. Um, but don't email or don't try to call or email um, Annie. So I just wanted to let you know, but I am very excited to get back to this and 
this is on my April plan to get back to. And I have it inside of a bag that I made. This is one of the bags from Lori Holt's new zippy panel. And I got the zippy panel and it's been sitting in a pile, but I wanted to have a special bag for this project. So I made this bag um, and I have it's lined with um, some other Lori Holt fabric. I just had some fat quarters. So I just put that in with um, fusible fleeces in between. So, but so excited about that. And that, like I said, is on my plan for April, which I will tell you about in a second. Okay, so how could I forget that? All right, then for April, I have been watching um, For the Love of Stitches and um, they, she along with, they, she also has another floss tube, Yorkshire Dolly Mixtures with her friend, Eleanor and of course, I was just watching it and her friend's name is escaping me. I'm sure it will come to me. But um, so she has her own floss tube, Ellie, on uh, For the Love of Stitches. And she stitches a lot of Hands Across the Sea, Whilst Iris Snaps, um, beautiful things. And I, I love watching her channel. And then also she has one with her friend. And um, that is called the Yorkshire Dolly Mixtures. So I will link both of them below and I suggest going over and checking them out. Um, their stitching is great, but um, they do two different things. One thing is they do something once a month and it's called roll the dice. So what it's similar to my whip stick um, plan. So I'm going to be using my whip sticks, uh, conti like continuing to use them, but that's kind of my roll the dice part but they also do another thing which I'm going to try it for the month of April and again it's all about trying new things this year apparently for me um to see what kind of sticks and works and how I like to to do my stitching but um it's called five for five and so what they do is they pick five projects for the month and they work on them for five days each and then that'll get you to the 25th and then from the 26th until the end of the month, then which happens to be for April, five more days, um, they work on either their roll the dice project or you can work on something else. So what I'm going to do is I've picked five projects and one of their roll the dice is one of their projects. So my whip stick project will be one of them. And I'm going to start on April 1st and I'm gonna work on each of the projects for five days, and then I'll move on to the next project. So what I decided to, this is my plan as of today. I think this is the projects I'm gonna do, but I'll update you if it changes. Um, I'm going to work on, which let me see if I have it right here. I don't know where it is. Uh, Every Opening Flower by Brenda Gervais. So that's for one of the projects. Home Sweet Home, which this will be a new start, but this is a small. So this will be one of the projects. Um, one of my Hands Across the Sea, which I don't know which one I have to decide. Um, Channing Street, and then whatever I pull from the whip sticks. And then the last five days, I'm either going to work on catching up on one of my sows, so like Hive Rules or the Teresa Kogan or whatever. Or if I'm not feeling that, then I'll catch up the next month and I'll keep working on one of the projects that I had um, as one of my five for the month. So I think that that will... Um, I'm thinking it's gonna work. It will help to kind of narrow down what I am have to pick from or like I'm working on, um, which is why I kind of, between now and the end of March, I want to get 
like caught up on um, some of my sales and stuff going on because I want to really try to stick to five days in a row working on the project and then move on to the next project. Um, one reason I want to do it is I want to um, see how much progress I can get done in five straight days. And then I also want to try it because they keep talking about it and it's intriguing to me. Um, and then I just want to try to change it up. So then in May, I might go back to doing something else. I don't know. Um, but I figured, what the heck? So if you're interested in trying it, um, all you have to do is get five projects and they can be new starts, they can be whips, they can be big, small, whatever. And then you're gonna work on one project for five days. And then when the five days are over, then you pick up the next project. So I'll start on April 1st, and then I'll go from the 1st to the 5th, and then so on and so forth. So again, if you're interested, join me. And if you want um, to find out more about kind of what how they do it, um, which is pretty much that, uh, go check their floss tubes out. So I'll put that below. Okay, now for my haul. <laughs> um, so I have some things that are not from market that I'll go ahead and show. One of them is I was able to find this book that Rachel from Needle and Flax showed on the First Lady's um, floss tube. I was able to find this on eBay and I'm excited. It has some really good samplers in here. I do want to pull some out and eventually work on them, but for now, I'm enjoying looking through the book. I also bought this off of Stash Unload. This is a was a completed cross stitch into a pillow, but I thought it was so cute for summer to put on a chair. It has the alphabet with B scaps, um, some rabbits, flowers, a barn, I just thought, well, that's really cute. So I bought this, somebody stitched this and I guess they were ready to rehome it. So I'm gonna give it a home, but I'm excited about that. Um, so that just came today. And then I am in, which I am pretty sure there's no spots for this, but um, Victorian Rose Needle Arts in Gainesville. She has a club for tabby cat linen where you get a um, quarter of a yard fabric each month. And this month is uh, Lollybrock. And I wanna show this. So, oh, this is probably why, okay. Sorry. <laughs> so this is what I got in the club. This is 36 count Lollybrock by tabby cat. And then, I have this was one I already had, and this is 32 count. But I just want to show from count to count and batch to batch, you are getting the same coloring, but it's not going to necessarily look the same. So this is the 32 count that I had already, and this is the new piece of 36. They're both Lollybrock from Tabby Cat, but you're not always necessarily going to have the same spotting, the same exact, cut. like it's along the same lines of the coloring, but I just, I happen to have another piece. And so I thought I'd show that just to show the difference when you're buying hand dyed, it's not always going to be exactly the same. Okay, so this was um, this is from Fox and Rabbit, the fabric of the month. So if you don't want to see it, look away, but it is called Mudslide and this is what it looks like. I have no clue what I'm going to stitch on this, but it's a great something to put in my stash. Um, I also got the stitch cards from Lori Holt, which these are going into future plans. Um, this is one of the circle measurements from Chantelle at 141 Design Company. 
which I'll probably use to do my sweet summer come again. This is the, um, I think it's called plentiful, um, pocket panel or pocket board. Of course I can't remember. I'll put it below, but this is the board to, to mount more chocolate bunnies on that, um, Chantel and Nicole work together to put out. So this is what it looks like. That piece I started and that went in the basket to probably work on next year. Or if I, I might later in the year, like go through and pull like one month, pull out a lot of things that I, I have been keeping track of everything I'm starting and kind of working on. So I might go back and one month just work on things I started at the beginning of the year and then try to either finish them or make progress. So that will probably come back out later. Um, okay, and then what was that is, oh, I received this beautiful, I don't wanna say who it is. It's really pretty note, a thank you note from a viewer. Um, thank you, you know who you are for sending a thank you note for sending a giveaway. So I really appreciate that. Um, and then I also got this, which is Ann Logan by Walsh Iris Naps. And this was at the influence of Eleanor Ellie from uh, For the Love of Stitches, Stitching, Stitches, I can't remember. Um, but this is potentially going to be a start before the end of the month, I'm not sure. I'm thinking about starting this, or I have two others that are kind of long skinny um, to put in as a rotation. Um, okay, so this is what I, besides what I've already shown you, what I, more patterns from market. So I got the Vanity Sampler by um, Liz Matthews. I got, well, I already showed you this. This was as a kit from, oops, <laughs> sorry, Farm Girl Dry Goods. So she has it all kitted up. She has the waxer. Um, so if you ever can buy a kit from her, it's really nice. It all comes together. So I have that ready for next month. I also got American Red. This was from Stacy Stitches Creative Studio. And then this is a new bag I got, which I have American Red in. This is from Blue Ribbon Designs, but this is so perfect. Okay, all right, this is twofold. First, I got this chart from uh, Michelle at Farm Girl Dry Goods. And then I had already bought the Victoria Clayton silks for that. And I have them in, this was from, Chantel told me about this. This is from um, Walmart. It's from the jewelry section. It looks like this. This is what it looks like but it perfectly fits the Victoria Clayton silks with, you can tape the conversion chart in the top and it can sit next to you while you stitch. And it goes in the bag. So I have that for this. I'm not starting it yet, but when I want to start it, I have all of this together to start it. So. I also picked this up. I tried so hard to resist buying this, but I just couldn't. After too many people were showing it. Summer Memories. This I bought from Fat Quarter Shop. It has quilts along with cross stitch, all by Susan Aki. And I love all of those pillows so much. There's very little that I don't love, if you can't tell. <laughs> I love a lot of stuff. All right, these was also from Stacy's. This has some awesome patterns in it, so if you're unsure, I would highly suggest 
getting that. These were from Brick City I purchased and I got, um, this was from Mojo Stitches, the Humble Sampler. I love that. This is um, Try to Make Well by Scarlet House. This is Be a Friend by Needlework Press. I love this so much. So, and she has um, these are the other ones too that um, they have. So I want to get the other ones also, but I mean, I have enough here to stitch and never buy another pattern. Um, oh, also from Farm Girl, I got a PA Dutch tomato pin keep, all kitted with the um, linen, the finishing, all that stuff. Oh my goodness. I put all of this in a bag so I wouldn't lose it. And I can kind of like go shopping in my bag when I want to start something um, from Thread Milk uh, Designs. From Annie B's, the Blue Work Pears. I also got, let's see, uh, Baskets and Butterflies. The eighth day of Christmas, which stay tuned in the coming months for um, some stitching on these. I'm going to pull those out for um, in the coming months. This was a kit. This is one of the Shepherd's Bush kits. And I'm also, I ordered from Stacy Stitches Creative Studio the... Um, I want to say it's called Liberty Sampler. It's by Shepherd's Bush too. Um, it's just different. I love it so much. I got the new Blackbird. I got both of them. This one and the um, Birds of a Feather. Oh, this has floss in it. Oopsies. <laughs> Between Friends, the collaboration with Kathy and Summer House Stitchworks. Which also, as a reminder, if you're interested in going to a Kathy uh, Haberman retreat, she is going to be the designer at the retreat with um, Chantel in September. Um, Penny Spring. This is one of the other charts I'm considering starting. Um, Ann McDonald from Red Barn Sampler. And I have all the DMC for that. Oh, uh, well, this is all kitted. Some of them I have kitted in this bag, so they're really ready to go. Like I said, birds of a feather. And I did buy the Victoria Clayton silk to go with that. I just haven't been ready to get it started. I also, from Chantel, I got a fan from Annie B's. She picked this up at market and sent it with some goodies to me. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, and then this is, let's see. This was not from market, but I found this. This is Fancy That. Um, let's see, what is it called? Lady Liberty. I thought that was so cute. So I wanna do that at some point. This was from um, eBay. Like I said, like I need any more charts, but I have to help support these people. Um, everyday things from heart and hand. And then I also had gotten um, cuckoo birds and floral etchings. And I got Oh my goodness, where is it? I got one more that was my other, oopsies, potential start. All right, let me think for a moment where I put that. Um, all right, well, 
If I start it, you'll see it. It's from Jeanette Douglas. I don't know where I put it, but, um, so it was another long skinny one from Jeanette Douglas. So that or the, um, Ann Logan or the Red Barn Sampler, um, I'm considering getting started, um, uh, but like I said, I don't, between now and the end of the month, I have, I really want to get the rabbit and the rose done. That's my main goal. The other stuff, we'll see what happens. So, of course, now I have lost my paper. This is what happens when you don't film for a week, but. <laughs> um, okay, so that is my haul. Um, what, uh, um, one more thing before I announce the giveaway winner is that um, I am planning to be back next Thursday. And then starting in April, I am considering, which I haven't fully decided, but I will let you know, going to filming every other week. Um, I haven't decided yet, so, but I'll let you know, like I said, and if I do, then I will tell you so you're not looking for the video, but I then I'll go just to an every other week um, floss tube. That will, if I do decide to do that, um, that will give me a little more time to try to film some tutorials that people have been asking for. I know people want the stitching mat tutorial. Um, there was something else somebody was asking about. And I just, I don't have enough time in the week to do the floss tube and the tutorials. Um, so I'm just tossing that idea around. I haven't fully decided yet, but um, I will be sure to let you know. I am going to announce the giveaway winner for the giveaway, which was the spring. Oh my goodness. I don't even know where it is now. It's somewhere here. It's the spring um, bag from Stitching with the Housewives, the kit. I'm going to announce that. And then I am going to do a giveaway on my Facebook page over the weekend. So stay tuned and go, if you are not part of my Facebook page, go ahead and make sure to join. It's just called Sweetwater Stitcher and I'll let you in. And over the weekend, I'm gonna do a post with a few charts that I'm gonna be giving away and then I'll randomly pick from the Facebook page. Um, so there won't be a giveaway on the video today, but we'll have a giveaway over the weekend on my Facebook page. So for the winner for this week's giveaway, which was the, let me see if it's under this pile. Sorry. Yep. Here it is. Okay. It was four. Ah, it's all tumbling down. It was for this. The winner is stitching underscore with underscore the underscore birds. So stitching with the birds, you are the winner. If you can send me an email to sweetwaterstitcher at gmail.com and let me know you won, I will get that in the mail to you. Um, like I said, head to my Facebook group for over the weekend. Um, also, if you are not in the Stitcher stash group, um, head over there. Tonight we will have our Zoom with uh, Becca from Sambri Stitches. And I know uh, Alicia is hosting a stitch along for her one of her new charts in April. So you'll want to um, look out for that. Uh, there's lots of other stitch alongs happening. So be sure to um, also follow me on Instagram, which is where I'll be kind of talking about other stitch alongs happening, not necessarily ones I'm uh, in or participating in, but just wanna help get the word out for other people if you're interested. Um, so that is all for today. I hope you guys have a great week and I will be back next Thursday with um, more to share and show. So thank you guys so much, bye.